Last week, a major news story broke about all European oil facilities experiencing a cyber attack. Today, I have Liam here, our senior consultant, to talk about his perspectives on this attack. So Liam, what are your thoughts? Thank you, Kate. Um, it's always worrying when cyber attacks start targeting parts of, you know, parts of national infrastructure, especially things that have uh, massive knock-on effects um, throughout you know, the rest of the uh, the rest of common business and the oil industry is certainly uh, certainly a business that unfortunately does have a lot of these knock-on effects elsewhere. Um, cyber attacks such as these are becoming more commonplace um, and as I said before it's it's just becoming more and more likely that people are going to be start to be targeted. I think a lot of the industries that have fallen slightly behind on their proactive security uh, are starting to feel the effects of that um, as threat actors or even script kiddies sitting in, sitting in basements all around the United Kingdom and the globe are, uh, are finding that they're having more and more success um, with, with launching these kinds of very damaging attacks. So for small businesses, obviously this is a, a massive issue, so what advice could you give to small businesses out there to, to stay safe? Um, I think the issue of safety is always going to be one that's, uh, that's uh, unfortunately a somewhat losing battle, but um, it's you know, the age old adage about not being faster than the bear, just being faster than the man next to you. Uh, comes to mind uh, and making sure you have you know, that continuous proactive security so you are getting things tested you are making sure things are being accurately uh, accurately monitored be that you know, blue teaming uh, as well as the red teaming uh, as well uh, and again just if everything needs to be tested make sure things are being checked once or twice three times uh, before you before you go live before you're exposing any data risk um, and ensuring that you do have an understanding of exactly what the risks are. Uh, if it's a, you know, if it is a small business, which uh, you know, a lot of these businesses that are being targeted are, you end up in, a, in an unfortunate situation and the budgets don't necessarily reflect the size of the problem you're trying to tackle. Yeah. And when you have, yeah, and when you have um, massive, you know, incredibly well-funded ransom campaigns coming after you, it can feel like a bit of a losing battle, but just make sure you're not that slow than the man next to you when the bear's coming. So in terms of every day, what can, what can people like me, what can individuals do every day to keep safe? Um, a lot of the onus does unfortunately fall on IT security teams, uh, especially when you're dealing with these kind of sophisticated ransomware attacks. Um, but um, everyday people can ensure that they're following the phishing training, that they're being provided at work, or, or even if you're not being provided at work, first of all, ask for some, and secondly, just make sure you're not clicking on any touch links. Um, we do regularly uh, provide training ourselves here for businesses, and you'd be amazed about how, how common it is to, for people to click on links and to start entering credentials into dungeon portals. So making sure that, first of all, the IT security teams need to be making sure they're trying to block as many of these things as possible, using mail filtering and, and other security tools like that. But also, you have a bit of a kind of personal responsibility to, to make sure that you're not into engaging with, uh, with phishing material. You are checking that these uh, emails that you're receiving, both at work and in your personal life, are, are legitimate not facilitating any of these any of these big attacks. Yeah, I completely agree. Well, thank you so much, Liam, for giving your perspective on that. Um, join us next week when Emma will be talking about the Apple hacking um, with one of our other consultants, and we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.